The terror sieges in France ended in bloodshed on Friday. Three of the attackers in the two standoffs were killed. The two brothers who gunned down 12 people at the satirical weekly Charlie Hebdo on Wednesday died at a warehouse north of Paris, while another man was killed by police at a Paris shop. Four of the hostages he had taken were found dead. Authorities say they died before police stormed in. Put together by the surviving members of its staff, the next issue of the Charlie Hebdo Weekly, which is supposed to hit newsstands on Wednesday, is in high demand outside of France. The issue, the first after the terrorist attack that left most of its senior journalists dead, will have a run of half a million copies instead of the usual 60,000. Countries where the magazine has never been sold before are now ordering thousands of copies. The campaigning blackout in Croatia's presidential runoff is in effect as of midnight last night. Polls will open at 7 a.m. on Sunday morning and remain open until 7 in the evening. Until the polls close, any type of promotion related to the candidates and any release of election results or exit polling results are strictly prohibited. Promotional text messages and emails related to the elections are also forbidden. The ban applies to social media as well. The State Electoral Commission admits, however, that there are no prescribed penalties for violations and are appealing to everyone to abide by the rules. This weekend marks the end of the peak of the skiing season for Croatians, which coincides with the school winter break. It is estimated that around 20,000 Croatians spent the week on the slopes of resorts in Austria, Italy and Slovenia. Competitive prices and the fact that it is a relatively short drive away have made Slovenia a very popular choice for many Croatian skiers. Flu season appears to have set in in Croatia. Over the past three weeks, 244 cases of the flu have been reported, about 20 of them in the capital. Epidemiologists say, however, the peak of the flu season is still to come. They estimate about 50,000 people in Croatia will come down with the virus this winter. In sports, Croatia's handball team celebrated their 35-28 victory over Serbia last night in the first of two preparatory friendlies ahead of the World Championships in Qatar. Coach Slavko Golja's team will play another game against Serbia tonight in Rijeka at 6. HTV2 has live coverage of the match. Croatia's first game of the World Championships is against Austria on January 16th. This afternoon's forecast calls for partly to mostly sunny skies throughout the country and above average temperatures for this time of year. The interior can expect occasional gusts of moderate west-southwesterly winds. On the coast, a mild south-southwesterly on the central and southern sections of the shore, high gusts in the north. Afternoon highs will range from 9 to 14 degrees Celsius throughout the country. Partly sunny skies are expected in the early part of the day on Sunday. By afternoon, clouds and rain are expected to set in, accompanied by a high northerly wind. Late in the day, the temperature will drop. Some light snow and sleet are expected, especially in the mountains. Clearer skies and brisk temperatures on Monday. Tuesday will bring more sun and a warming trend. On the coast, passing clouds with rain on Sunday, there will be a moderate to high southeasterly wind turning to a high to gale force northeasterly in the north by evening. Clearer skies on Monday with lingering high northeasterly and northwesterly winds. Sunny and a bit warmer on Tuesday.